Almost every ship you see will have its propeller at the stern, yet on a propeller-driven aircraft you'll usually find it at the front, so what's going on? Why do ships have the propeller at the stern? Back in 1839, the SS Archimedes became the first steamship to be driven by a propeller, which was fitted deep down in the aft part of the keel. Whether that was luck or judgement, I'm not sure, but the point is that ever since then, propellers have remained in that same location. One of the probable early factors comes from an argument by Isambard Kingdom Brunel when he was persuading the Great Western Steamship Company to use a propeller rather than paddles on their new ship, the SS Great Britain. Paddles have inconsistent efficiency because they're constantly changing depth when the vessel is loaded with different amounts of cargo. It's similar, of course, in different sea states where occasionally you may find waves lifting the hull in such a way that the paddles lift clear of the water. A screw propeller at the stern, on the other hand, remains submerged no matter what depth the vessel is loaded to and no matter how much she's pitching. If that propeller was mounted near the bow, there would be the potential for it to lift clear of the water in heavy weather. Another one of Brunel's arguments was that by omitting large bulky paddle boxes, the SS Great Britain would be able to manoeuvre more easily in confined waters. This would only be possible, however, with the propeller mounted right in front of the rudder, because the rudder's efficiency depends on a flow of water to generate lift. By placing the propeller immediately in front of the rudder, you can create that water flow even if the ship is barely moving through the water. 